Um, first of all, I'm going to present myself. Okay, I'm Aro. I'm a software engineer. Uh, I'm a full stack developer and an iOS native developer. Okay, and okay, as I'm in between here, apparently I'm a, a professional failure. Okay. I don't know what this invitation means, but okay. So um, I'm the I'm the uh, co-founder of CodeWorks and teacher in the in the developer bootcamp. It's a it's a programming school, and we have a, a very immersive and a very um, tough uh, program. That it's uh, three months, uh, six days a week, eleven hours a day. Okay. So if you want feedback after it, uh, okay, it's about JS full stack development, okay? <coughs> we teach uh, frameworks like Express, Koa. Uh, we take a peek in, into, the, uh, into frameworks <coughs> like AngularJS or React and Redux, okay? So you would become a de um, professional developer in three months with a hiring fest at the end. Uh, we have two students in here of good work today. <laughs> So if they look tired, okay, don't worry. It's basically don't fall down. <laughs> yeah. Okay. So uh, about okay, I'm gonna talk about this thing. Failing faster. First of all, I want to tell a story. Okay. Uh, some years ago, I think four years ago, we um, me, uh, along with uh, some partners, we created a consultancy firm. Uh, that worked on iOS native development and um, later uh, Android native development and web development. Uh, that it's called La Fosca. Uh, Hello, is my partner uh, from there, from La Fosca. Uh, we still running, by the way. Um, and okay, we created that that uh, new and that new business. Okay, and when. I, I just um, ended the university there. I had a uh, prior, like, I don't know, seven years of experience in IT when I, when I ended my, the university studies. And we created that. <coughs> and at that time, I was pretty amazed about some of the, about the startups of San Francisco and all the movement that was coming. Um, and obviously, I, I wanted to, to make a, um, a very cool, um, uh, business, um, and I was amazed by a concept by Google that some of you uh, may ha may heard about. That is the Google twenty percent. Uh, do you know about that? Okay, it's like that cool stuff that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But it's in the next slide. Okay, so but it's a but it was a very good idea. I mean, they are giving twenty percent of the time to the to the. To uh, their employers, the employees, um, to work on that they think that it's good for the company, okay? Um, it's it's it, and and it it was a way to, uh, I mean, uh, take advantage of the creativity of your employees, okay? Of that development team, and Gmail, NatSense, okay, it was cut off, but. Look at the products that uh, were out from that program, okay? So this is so nice, but eventually, okay, they cut it at the program, okay? Marisa Meyer, who is the CEO of, of, of Yahoo, and it was one of the first 20 employers of, of employees of, of Google, said that it was the 20% of the 120%, okay? Um, some workers started to be worried about their productivity and, um, uh, and results on the, on the analytics. Uh, Google has like a, an, a Google Analytics inside their, their, their teams to analyze uh, the productivity of workers. Okay? So they were spending the 20%. They are not uh, producing that much for the, the main business of their teams. Uh, and as you say, um, it doesn't exist anymore. Okay, uh, so it was a very cool idea, but it's not perfect. Okay, but okay, I wanted, I wanted to apply it into my company as well. So we said, okay, let's apply it. What could go wrong, right? So we applied it. We made basically this. 
It's giving the 20% of freedom, completely freedom to our employees to do whatever they want. But uh, it was nice, but the time was spent in improving personal skills, refactoring the code that we made on the other weekdays, and trying new technologies. Okay? I, I mean, this is nice, actually. It's not bad news, because the quality of our developers was improving. Okay? But this is not what we wanted, because we were ensuring that they um, made all of this in the, in the main business hours. We wanted them to be creative. Okay? Uh, also, we found ourselves giving ideas to, to our empl employees because they didn't know what to do. It's like, it, Freddy came, came and he's like, I don't know what to do, I don't have ideas. And it's like, I don't know what to do. And they came to us to ask for something to do. And it's like, we don't have to, to answer this question. I mean, it's, total, it's freedom, okay? It's, it's meant to be freedom. Uh, and non-developers were not using it. Eloy, designer, so <laughs> he was not using it, okay? So we iterate that into presentations. Uh, instead of completely freedom, the guys were meant to do some presentations at the end of the day, or maybe not at the end of the day, but every two weeks. If you're working with something, we want to know what you're working on. I mean, if you have like a goal, like making a presentation, then you are more focused on, on that, okay? Um, is it, the, the results were, were similar to that 20%, okay? We only solved the, the, the refactor thing because it was main business. And it's like, I'm not talking about I made that refactor, okay? Okay, but not all are bad news, okay? Uh, there were uh, so co uh, cool stuff that was the output of that thing, okay? Like, we were creating um, an app for a blogger, and in the main business hour, we were so focused on, on, on ship that, that, that app, but the guy that was responsible of that app uh, had an idea of creating the, uh, the face cropper, okay? That is that all the, all the images of, the, of, the, of that block um, in the Android screen uh, were not centered, okay? They were centered in the center of the image, but this is not the important thing. The important thing is the face. So he developed in two Fridays um, the Android face cropper. When you give it an image, it marks the center of the face. And it was so cool. Uh, it's an open source project, and it has uh, 426 st stars in GitHub, and this is so nice. This is one of the things that I'm most proud of, about the an output of like, these things. So, um, also in the presentation, some people was not motivated about it, and sometimes we kept working on our mind business. Also, we, we kept receiving more and more work, we were growing, and then we had a lot of work, and maybe you are, as, as a person, because I had that 20% too, and it's like, I was preferring to do the business and get the things done with the, with the clients, and let's, let's forget about that 20% for me. Um, so, we tried it again, and we tried something more aggressive. Hackathons, okay? Okay, we went so cool idea, and then, okay, let's start hackathons. Every one or two weeks, an organization prepared a um, topic for a hackathon, like this week we're going to work on um, Internet of Things, food, or Facebook. Um, so every, fi every, fi every one or two uh, Fridays, we created, we created two teams, two separated teams for a day, okay? And they are meant to compete for creating the most cool thing in that, in that, in, at the day, okay, with that topic. Um, so at the end of the day, the committee composed by non-participants, non-participants were non-technical guys, Eloy, 
um, deciding the winners, and the winners were given funny prizes. Okay? And people with that got really, really motivated. It was fun. It was a funny thing uh, in, 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 the, um, in the company. Okay? Fridays were really special. But we found out that it's too, it was too much work for the organizer. We're talking about a small team, okay? about 10 people. And this guy has something to do also. And that guy um, had um, to prepare the, 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 the event uh, during the weekdays, OK? The other weekdays, not the 20%. And then we found out also that as we were giving a fixed topic, we, are, we were killing creativity, OK? Well, it's like, work with Facebook. I mean, OK, maybe this is an open topic, but work with food. It's like, OK, but I'm, gi I'm giving, I mean, I have to be creative, but in this thing. And it was killing. Also, the pressure was stopping it. I mean, it was a hackathon. You started at 9, maybe you ended at 7. It's like, you have to do that in that hours. You have to end up at six because we have to deliver. Okay? So the, so the pressure was killing that creativity. So we gave up. Okay? Uh, as, actually, it was not a decision. I mean, it was a delayed decision. It's like, okay, this week, no. This week, neither. This week, neither. So we ended up by not working on that 20%. Okay. So, okay, it's, I think this is misplaced. Okay. So at some point, we found, in I mean, at some point in, in the company in the future, I mean, at some time, um, some people, some teammates, and I found us in a position that we were so interested in games. Uh, actually, we received um, um, a job. The, to create a um, very basic game uh, in Unity. So we made it. We are so adaptive. Um, we made it, we launched it, we liked it, and then we said, okay, why don't we work on games? And we give it a try. Uh, so um, I started to think again about that 20%. So there was a movement also that creating that La Fosca Labs to represent that 20%. Okay? It's like a little, little committee of uh, keeping or, or, or allowing or embracing creativity into our company. So we created the Fail Faster um, team inside La Fosca. Okay? This is what I, I, I talked about. Okay? So um, we, ha we, we have um, some problems with that, OK? OK, we want to start making our, our own games. But we had no game designer, OK? Game designer is, is not any, anyone that, um, a person that makes the assets, OK? This is a designer, and we had it. We uh, had no game designer, no one that says, make this game that has these mechanics, and you have to, it, it, um, you have to make, when, when you push a button, you have to make this red little person to jump, and you can go inside to the tunnels, and, uh, okay? We, had, we haven't that, that, that guy, and we had no ideas. So I started to, um, to make a little research on game designing, okay? And I ended up, with these two guys, okay? The first one is the, I mean, the left one is for your perspective because I, I said right. But the left guy is, um, is a YouTuber, it's a YouTube channel that it's called Extra Credits that they are making every week video about game design or about, about game design concepts or, or analysis, okay? But he explains so well. So one of the topics that he was talking about is about failing faster, okay? Uh, look at that video, try to search fail fa um, in YouTube, fail faster, and it's the first video that came out, okay? And it's, it's bringing this guy. Um, 
but it was focused on game designing, okay? And this other guy is um, Isaac Asimov, okay? That um, apparently uh, some uh, friend of him, um, for those who doesn't know him, it's dead, okay? It's, um, it's a novelist of science fiction, uh, also a chemist, um, and I mean, he was talking about the effects on in, of internet in the society on 1988. Okay, we are talking about this guy. Okay, so um, what I found about this guy is that a friend of him uh, founded a letter that he that he made for for him and his team when he invited Isaac Asimov into a group of research. Uh, of anti-missiles -mi um, anti -missiles protection of the U.S. government state, okay? So his guy was invited into brainstorming sessions about how to be creative uh, about um, uh, anti-missiles program, okay? Of the, of, uh, about military uh, topics. And he accepted, but he went to, uh, for two times to that brainstorming sessions, and he left. He's like, okay, I, I declined this thing for two reasons. One is, well, one reason mainly is that about knowing <coughs> about the secrets of the government about military topics was killing uh, his creativity about thinking about the future, okay? If he knew the, 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 the things that were secret and uh, it has to be known uh, several, years, uh, uh, several years after, um, it will kill, uh, kill uh, his creativity. So he worked, he uh, sent a letter about how to do these brainstorming sessions for his friend. It's like, drive it like this, okay? So we're going to learn about failing faster from this guy and how to make a brainstorming correctly by this guy. Okay, so about failing faster. This guy is explaining about, about the fail faster concept in the video about how to design games. Okay, um, and the first thing is that no idea is no idea is fully formed. No idea is good. Okay, if I mean I, I wonder that moment when some game designer is facing their team and saying, let's do a game about throwing birds into pigs. And the others say like, whoa, it's a billion dollar idea. Okay, so they made it. Okay, and they earn uh, that, um, that amount of money or more. I mean, um, I, I'm talking about Angry Birds. Okay, so the moment that he had this idea, it was a very, a very stupid idea. That's it, okay? But they, they uh, go after that idea, and they iterate over there. Um, when, when you, you, you can make this exercise on all the games. I mean, uh, blue hedgehog running like crazy, collecting rings, it's not a good idea, okay? So uh, here is that, okay, fail even before you have a line of code, okay? I mean, you can, uh, work with uh, some um, cardboards or something like this. You want to make a, a game, uh, um, a um, video game, but you can play with cardboards. Okay, this applies also to, to our ideas as developers, like for that face cropper, okay? Uh, if you have an idea of a library uh, as a developer, just try it, don't care about how the API is designed. Let's ship it and let the, these guys on GitHub um, create an issue and say about, I copy paste that and it's not working, okay? And, and some issues like that. But some guy at some point will uh, create um, a, new is, a new issue on GitHub that says, why don't you make this API working like this or working the other, okay? So if you have an idea, don't care about if it's well typed or if you're not um, linking things correctly or your code is not beautiful. Just ship it and let the other try, okay? Um, 
a, basic, a, a very important concept in here also is expo expose yourself, okay? Um, one of the things that worry us the most about shipping ideas is about what the others are saying or will say about our idea. My idea is not good enough, so I'm not talking to you and I'm not sharing you my idea because I, I'm afraid about you saying that it's a very bad idea. Don't care about that. I mean, yeah, listen to what they are saying, okay? But your idea, if, if, you, if you embrace the, idea, the, the concept that your idea is not perfect, you won't be hurt by that, okay? Um, don't protect your ideas. If, some, if someone is giving you feedback, listen to them, okay? And change your idea. And don't protect your ego, okay? Because maybe if you're protecting your idea, it's because you're protecting your ego. And it's like, I had this idea. And the other says, like, uh, okay, well, this is not that funny as you think. But you say, okay, you make the relation about this is my idea, this is me. So he's saying that I am a fool. And it's like, you don't have an idea. So you, 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 you quit about the conversation and that's it, okay? So don't protect your ego. Uh, that one is, is the basic lean startup uh, thing, ship, ship, ship. It's the only thing that you have to do, ship, okay? Let, um, let, uh, let's close this, this, this minimal version and then let the other try it, okay? And every failure is another chance to get it right, okay? You will learn about this, this failure. So you will be learning on every, uh, on every failure. If you fail about, if you're shipping, not a game, but um, um, an app, and it fails, it doesn't fail. It's, it's not a Boolean, okay? It's, it's, uh, it has its detail. It has its, it's failing, but what part is failing? It's failing the, the, the onboarding. It's failing the, the, um, from this part, from this <coughs> other, okay? It's not a Boolean, that's it. Okay, and then the other guy. This guy is, is talking to us about the, the brainstorming, about how to create new ideas, okay? So we are thinking about, I mean, I think that when he wrote this letter, uh, he, wrote this, he wrote this letter, uh, the brainstorming uh, concept was not embedded yet. The concept. I mean, yes, the... the, the, the uh, um, I mean, this guy referred to celebration sessions as a, as a brainstorm session, okay? Celebration sessions is like, okay, it's crazy. So he was talking about, okay, how can you get along some people to create new ideas, okay? So this is the, you can read the letter. It's so interesting. He's talking about, um, he's getting these ideas about two people getting the same brilliant idea at the same time like Darwin and I don't know the other scientists that, was, uh, that, that arrived to the same idea of evolution. Okay, it's so interesting, read it, if you, if you can, if you want. But the main things, okay, the, the, the conclusions of that letter is that the brainstorming sessions, first of all, are opt-in, okay? It's completely optional, okay? Because if you are uh, making or obligating somebody to be in a brainstorming session is like, what I'm doing here? I, I, don't, I don't want to create new ideas. Or it's completely optional. He has to be engaged by, the fa by, the fa by, by default, okay? By himself. He has to be motivated. First, the other one is work in isolation. Okay, we're talking about brainstorming session. What are you talking to me? <laughs> I mean, isolation, group, it's, it's not the case. He's talking about working before the brainstorming session. Everybody in this brainstorming session has to be work alone before and prepared some ideas, okay? And why is that? Because celebration sessions aren't for creation, but for connecting ideas. So if we start a brainstorming session with all of us guys, and we start, okay, let's try Say crazy things. Cheesecake. <laughs> You're a perfect brainstormer, okay? But you are not on every, on every, on, on every company, okay? 
It's like, it's perfect silence. And he's like, yeah, you can um, uh, start uh, saying about uh, pizza toppings, but it's like, um, it's not the case, okay? Um, so, first of all, we can start, a good, a good icebreaker is start talking about the ideas that we bring into the session, okay? This is the perfect uh, point of starting off a brainstorming sessions. Also, a relaxed ambi ambient, um, okay, and so the, the brainstorming session is meant to, okay, I listen to all of you, and then I start connecting ideas, and you all do the same. Okay, and it's like, okay, but if we take this thing and we take this other, maybe it's like, okay, blah, 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 and we start this kissing. Um, so, also it has to be in a relaxed ambient, okay, as much as possible. Here, not in the meeting room. Um, also, it's recommendable not to be more than five people, okay, because the creativity it's stopped when you feel pressure, not only productivity pressure, but social pressure, okay? It's about saying cheesecake, okay? But if some of you, you know, you're not, but some of you may seem like you are, uh, look like a fool if you say cheesecake. But it's not the case because we are in a brainstorming session, okay? But it occurs. So if we are in a closed group of five people, it's better to make 20 brainstorming sessions of five people than making it all together, okay? Also, no sense of, respons of responsibility, not being paid. Okay, this, I think this is the very best point of that thing, okay? The sense of responsibility is also killing creativity because I've been paid to have uh, great ideas. My pressure is my pressure is, is 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 great. I mean, it's like okay, I have to earn that money, so I have to have uh, I have to I have to create this 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 idea. This I have to be creative, and in the meantime, I'm thinking about it. I'm not creating new ideas. Um, instead, we can, we can have a workaround here, and pay for the action items. Okay, the action items of this brainstorming session. If we are talking about doing something, if we arrive to some nice idea we think that could work, then it, it's related to some work. It's like, okay, implement it, do it, develop it. Okay, so this action item is, the, is where you have to pay them. Okay, we will relate it. it this is difficult for now, I, I mean, for our context, but we <coughs> will relate it in, in the um, after. And they have to be guided by a psychoanalyst, okay? How many psychoanalysts, uh, psychoanalysts are in the here? You? <laughs> um, I put in, 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 in brackets because it's um, in quotes because someone has to uh, have the role of a psychoanalyst. It has not to be a psychoanalyst. But uh, the role of the uh, psychoanalyst is not to participate in the brainstorming session, okay? So you all participate in the brainstorming session and I'm the psychoanalyst, so I'm the driver of that brainstorming session. What is my job? When you say something, I ask it to you, and, and why? And I, I have to try to make that stupid questions that make you think, okay? It's like a psychoanalyst. You go to the psychoanalyst, and he's asking you questions. But he knows what questions to do, okay? This is difficult for us because we don't. But we have to make an effort and try to make the correct questions, okay? Usually stupid questions, and, and that's it, okay? Okay, so I, I, I got these ideas from these two guys. I messed up, and I create a workflow for, um, that, for, for launching the creativity of uh, my teammates and the, of this team, okay? So the team, we created the Fail Faster team that is, was, was meant to create new games or new ideas. Um, and this team was completely optional, okay? If, 
for for you that are in, for all of you that are interested in entering this 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 fail faster team, you can enter. If not, don't do it. You can work in anything else. Okay, but I assure that all of the all of them are motivated. Um, okay, but everyone can enter in here and make the job and it's like they are avoiding their responsibilities, so blah, blah, no? So Monday, we had a brainstorming session after having lunch, okay? After having lunch, we were playing ping pong for an hour, okay? For those who are in the team, Monday is for brainstorming, not ping pong. So these two things were colliding and saying it's completely opt-in. So for those who want, to, um, who want to eat in a quarter, an hour, and, and start the brainstorming session, if they are tending to the brainstorming session, they are really motivated, okay? Because they were, they were um, um, throwing their relaxing time, okay? So all of us were meant to bring the, um, our ideas in a document. We had like, um, like a questionnaire and we have to bring in the ideas uh, into there. So we can, uh, at the start of the brainstorming session, we, can, we could um, start saying about, explaining our ideas. Uh, then we uh, continue discussing this, those ideas and connecting and creating new things. And um, <laughs> we select an idea and we listed the action items to work until Friday. Okay, so for example, we select an idea of, about a game that is meant to uh, be with bagnets and some other things. Okay, so we ask to the designer to create that models and we, uh, um, I was the responsible of um, structuring the work to do and trying to split it uh, for all the guys that we are working on because if you are starting on Friday 9 a.m. you want to be as productive as you can. Okay, so all of we, uh, all of ours, uh, we have an action, everyone of ours has an action items to work until Friday, to be prepared. So when it came Friday at 9 a.m., all the team working on it uh, from 9 a.m. in the morning. We could start working on it because we, have, we had all the dependencies, we had all the assets done because we have worked when we had some time in the weekdays. All the assets, uh, okay, all the assets, uh, uh, all the time of that, of that Friday was poor work, pure work for that. The results were not expected until Monday. This was because if some of the team, some, pe some people in the team was that motivated about this idea and they liked the way they worked on Friday but they didn't finish that, they could continue on the weekend. I mean, and this is not devil, I mean, I'm not talking about my employers and I want them to work. I did it, okay? It's like I was working in some ideas across the, the weekend because on Monday I, wa I wanted to have this working and having that, that game working because it was so nice. So Monday, we collect feedback which is, with, between each other. Um, we presented the, the thing that we implemented Friday or the weekend. And... And then we, can, we, we repeat the first, um, the, the brainstorming session. But now, with the result of the first week, with the result of the first iteration as um, an option to continue, okay? So we can pick a new idea or uh, continue iterating the one that we had. And basically, uh, this is one of the outputs that we made. Actually, I didn't remember. We have it in the Apple Store. Now, it's a game about... It's a very basic racing game, but it's so funny because I don't know if it's shown so well. But yeah, you are all sliding. The first one is a little stop by fraction, and the others have to overtake that, the, the first one. And the first can jump at the moment that the first is... Is, is going faster, and then it's, it's pushed to the uh, farther, I mean, to the, <coughs> to the end line, okay? Tide is, is so funny, it's free, it's completely free, okay? Okay, so, okay, a little bit of conclusions, okay? 
for the first thing about the recapping all the things about the 20% of Google, don't, uh, I read this in an article, I, I like it so much, that say don't celebrate uh, creativity, allow it. What does it mean? Is that don't try to have this 20% because of being cool. Allow creativity in your inner being as a company, okay? It's like, we are not do doing this 20% to get results or not, creativity is creativity. Maybe there are no results, maybe, um, but eventually they are. Uh, also, is embrace failure in your company and on yourself as well, okay? Failure has to be easy for you. I mean, uh, failure is about um, expose yourself, like we said before. It's about letting the others see how you fail. Don't worry about that. The only thing that you are showing here is that you are trying. If the others don't want to try, it's their problem, okay? The only way, and, and embrace failure also, uh, is to, if you're in a company, don't punish failure. Maybe we are not doing this on purpose. Maybe you are punishing yourself for being creative and, fa and, and failing. Because if you are <coughs> failing one time after another, maybe you are thinking for yourself, I have to do something, um, I, I have to exit from this entrepreneur way, I have to get a job, I have to, okay? This is punishing yourself or punishing your team about you're not being that productive this way I did this week or blah, blah, blah. okay? This is the problem of the, f the four, that four days, not the Friday or I don't know, Wednesday, whenever you want to apply the 20%, okay? And this is the only way to keep trying, okay? <laughs> and you have to keep trying. Um, and the, uh, the other quote, the final quote, is the only way to not to fail is not to try. Okay? So if you want, you can make, uh, you, you, you can ensure not to fail. But you won't, um, you won't um, evolve at all. Okay? So that's it. Thank you. I hope this isn't, uh, wasn't taking so long. Okay? And it's something new or let's talk about it.